Today we're installing the Havoc front cowl designed to fit the Yamaha drive. Included in the kit are new front fenders, mounting bracket, off-road or street style fascia, your front cowl, and headlights. Now let's get started. Now we're ready to remove our front OEM cowl. We've already taken our front struts and canopy off and retained. Now we're going to switch the cart into tow mode, engage the parking brake, and switch the cart to off. Then we're going to remove the front five rivets that hold the front dash to the cart. Now you're going to remove and retain the screw that's located at the top of the cup holder. Next, we're going to remove and retain the two screws located on each side of the cup holder assembly, here and here. You can now remove your front cup holder by pulling up at the front and pulling out away from the dash. One final rivet to remove located in the driver's glove box at the bottom of the steering column. Next, unplug your forward reverse switch and your key switch. Remove and retain the two screws located behind where we removed the cup holders. Remove your front floor mat. Then we're going to remove and retain the five rivets located along the bottom side of your front dash. At this point, your dash is free. Let's go ahead and remove it and set it to the side. Now you're going to remove and retain the front bolt that holds the cow to the front frame located behind the OEM bumper. Next, remove and retain the five rivets that hold the front cow to the front underbody. And our last step to remove our front cow is to remove and retain the screws located on the side of the cow here, same thing on the driver's side. Whether you're installing an off-road or a street style fascia, the following steps will be identical. First thing we're going to do, you want to lay something soft down on a table and flip the cow over. Now we're going to take our front fascia and we're going to attach it to the front cow using the pre-drilled holes along the front of the cow. Using the tabs on the top of the fascia here, we're going to insert it into the front cow. Once the fascia is attached, you'll notice that the studs located in the fascia will line up with the holes on the cow. Using the hardware provided, we're going to put one screw in each side of the fascia to hold it in place. Do not over tighten. Now that you have the outside screws in, we're going to finish out across the front fascia. You want to make sure that all your tabs are fully installed and the back side of your fascia and cowl, there's no gaps between the two. Now that we have our fascia on, we're going to attach our new fenders using two screws on each side. Now when you install your new fenders, the outside is the textured side. You also notice a channel. This channel is what will go into the fascia, and this is where our two screws will attach. There's also two slotted holes at the top of the fender. These two slotted holes will receive these two tabs here on the bottom of the cow. You can secure with two screws here.
We're gonna repeat this on the other side. Insert your headlights through the front of the cowl and we're going to use three screws to attach them to the back side. One thing on the headlights is the daytime run light should be on the bottom and your turn signal amber lights will be on the outside. Once your headlights in place, flip it back over. Notice the three holes located on the fascia, two here, one on the inside. You're gonna take the hardware provided with your headlights and you're gonna attach the headlight to the fascia. Remember, don't over tighten your screws. We're gonna do the same process on the other side. If you're installing optional hood vents, you'll notice an indented molded line on the underside of the cowl on each side. You're gonna to cut to the inside of the line, cut out around the square, and then pop the hood vents in from the top. You wanna to make sure you do this before you install a cowl. Now that your front cowl is put together, you're gonna assemble the flat bracket with the bent bracket using the hardware provided in the bracket box. You're going to take the two bolts with the washers. You're going to come in from the back side of the bracket, like so, and tighten using the hardware provided. Once both bolts are in place, tighten. With the cowl upside down, we're going to take the bracket that we just assembled, flip it upside down as well. The bent part of the bracket will go to the bottom side of the fascia here and point to the inside of the cow. Using the two screws provided with the bracket, you're going to attach it to the fascia at these two studs here. Now using the five rivets, we're gonna attach our front cowl to our underbody. Now you're gonna reattach the fender to the underbody as well as the side skirt. Now you're gonna repeat this on the other side. Using the six millimeter bolt provided with your bracket set, attach the bracket to the frame and tighten. Reinstall your dash using the five rivets that we pulled out from these locations. Be sure to reattach your key switch and your full reverse switch. Now you're gonna reinstall the four screws located along the back side of the dash. Next, we're gonna secure the top of the dash using the five rivets, retain. Now we're going to replace our cup holder. You're going to put the back end first and then press the front end. Now using the retained screw, we're going to secure the cup holder. Replace the column cover trim using the retained rivet. Now we're going to plug in our front headlights. If you need help installing the daytime run lights, see the link below. Now we already have an upgrade harness installed on this cart, but if you do not, 
you will need to install one yourself. If you have the OEM lights or someone else's harness, you will need to make sure that your front three pin connector is compatible with that harness. With your dash reattached, once you reinstall your floor mat, your front struts, and your canopy, you're now finished installing your Mad Jack's Havoc Series front cowl designed for the Yamaha Drive.